Hi friends, it's Mrs. McCarver and it's time for today's science lesson. Earlier this week, we started to talk about the new season, which is spring. And we listened to a book that told us about things that change or grow in spring, like plants, animals, the weather, and the clothes and toys you might need or want in the spring. So today we're going to focus all about plants. Let's look at these trees. Show me on your fingers, which number tree do you think is in the spring? Do you think it's tree number one, where I see green leaves and some flowers? Tree number two, where there are just green leaves, but a big hot sun? Tree number three, where the leaves are turning red and orange? Or tree number four, which is covered in snow? Which one would show spring? That's right, I think tree number one is in the spring because I heard in that book that plants start to grow, they bud, and then they blossom. So today we're going to listen to a story about what plants do in the spring. This book is called Plants in Spring. New season. It's spring. We plant seeds and wait for sunlight and rain. Spring rain makes the ground wet. Plant roots suck up water from the soil. Yesterday we heard a little bit about the weather roots. that was rainy in the spring. Now we know why that rain is good for plants. Their roots underground need the water to grow. Soon, shoots and stems poke through the soil. So a shoot or a stem is a part of the plant as it first begins to grow. I know that Mrs. O talked to you a little bit about that when she was talking about living things. From sunlight to food. Daylight lasts longer in spring. Leaves take in the sunlight. Another thing that we might notice in the spring is that the days seem to last a little bit longer. They are getting longer and the sun is out for a longer time. The leaves of the plant need that sunlight to help it grow. Plants make their own food with sunlight, water, air, and nutrients. All of those things are important to help the plants grow. Just like Mrs. O talked to you about the things that living things need to grow from flowers to fruit. Bees like bright blooming flowers. Bees gather nectar from the flowers. We saw a bee in the book we heard earlier this week and it was also on a flower. I'm noticing that bees are always around flower and that's how they get the nectar here in the middle of the flower. Pollen from flowers sticks to bees. Bees carry the pollen from flower to flower. Pollen. If we look closely at this bee where the caption is pointing to the pollen, that's like yellow powder that's all over the bee after it goes in to get the nectar. When it goes to the next flower, that helps the flowers to grow and have more flowers all around. Soon flowers make fruits. New seeds grow inside the fruits. Think about the trees we looked at. We noticed that that tree had leaves and flowers. Flowers are where the fruit is going to grow. So we could tell that that, that tree was maybe a fruit tree in the spring. Once the flower, wherever the flower is, that's where the fruit will grow, like this apple. Spring is a season for planting and growing. What plants do you see in spring? So think about it and look around your house, maybe your neighborhood, or even when you're driving in a car. What plants do you notice are starting to sprout or bud or even blossom and grow? 